Hello, and welcome to Above the Horizon Astrology and also Heart Variations. Uh, if you've landed on this page, you see that these are the two loves of my life that I have combined, uh, making jewelry, art, and astrology. And I just wanted to create a little video to kind of uh, simply, it's probably not going to be simple or that short, but explain or, or introduce astrology to you. Maybe you've had a reading before, maybe you've read your horoscope, um, however you have come upon astrology, welcome. And sometimes people get a little overwhelmed because it can be a lot of information or that, or it's, or it's kind of, you know, a confusing thing. People don't know how it works. So I kind of wanted to um, not necessarily give a lesson on how it works because that's more involved, but just show my face and say, here's what I love about astrology to hopefully intrigue you, entice you to get a reading. Uh, so the wonderful thing about astrology is that the planets have a lot to say to us, about us, maybe not for us, but um, you know, there's a lot of information in looking at our birth chart. So when you're born, you take your first breath, they're all of the planets where they were when you were born become this imprint, this blueprint for your soul, some people call it. And um, with that, we can gain a lot of information, especially if you have your exact birth time, which you can still go to reading without it, but it's really cool to be able to see, you know, when did your soul actually incarnate into your body in this life at what time? Um, because if you've heard the terms like sun, moon, rising, you know, where your sun was, that's your sun sign, your birthday. I'm an Aries. Uh, the sun was at like 14 degrees and whatever minutes when I was born and, um, you know, your moon. So that's definitely, if you want to find out where your moon is, we have to know where your birth time is. Um, and then your rising sign is where the sun was on the, on the Eastern horizon when you were born. So it gives us a lot of information that I won't go into in this little video, but, um, I don't know. Astrology is really cool because we can see what kind of archetypes and themes we're dealing with currently over a lifetime, previous lifetimes. And if you don't believe in reincarnation, childhood, or just kind of what ancestrally, what you're working with. Um, and, you know, I will say that another thing I love about astrology is that all cultures have some kind of astrology. It's not something that was like born in the 60s with hippies. It's been around since the dawn of man when woman and man were like, hey, why did that, you know, glowing orb in the sky just go away during an eclipse? And so tracking, you know, the stars, the planets was very important and the luminary sun and moon. And, uh, you know, all of our ancestors realized, wait a minute, there's different themes that take place that happen that um, are affected by what you can see in the sky. And uh, like Easter just happened. So uh, Lent or whatever is 40 days. And that's like a Venus cycle. And we just had the Venus star point. All of it's just sacred geometry, because the cool thing about astrology to astronomy is that we know where the planets have been forever and where they will be forever. They are beyond dependable. <laughs> They're, um, you know, always making the same movement speeds uh, from, you know, cycle to cycle. And that's really what astrology is, is like mathematics and cycles and, and um, archetypes and storytelling. It's really looking at your birth chart, the imprint, you know, where all these planets were when you were born and you took your first breath. They give us a lot of information about, you know, what talents, gifts, and abilities you come into this lifetime with, uh, and then where the planets are right now and how they interact with where they were when you were born creates these kind of new relationships, these new interactions from planet to planet, asteroid, point in space, luminary, whatever it may be. And um, yeah, it's just a neat way to get to know a little more about yourself and use this information to, um, you know, I feel like we're all here to learn how to help other people, to be of service to other people. And to do that, we have to also take care of ourselves, right? And so the more we get to know ourselves, the better. And maybe I'll leave you with this because I was trying to keep it short, but... <laughs> Um, I always kind of like 
not roll my eyes, but chuckle a little bit when people say, you know, oh, I'm such a Libra or I'm such a Taurus or Scorpio or whatever, because that is a lifetime contract. So when people say, well, wait a minute, you know, how come everybody that's born in the same month has the same horoscope? That's just one part of like 11,000 different choices or something. Um, Stephen Forrest, amazing astrologer, he broke that down into mathematics, into numbers, that there are, I think, like more than 11,000 different combinations you can have. Um, and maybe even more than that with sun, moon, rising, where your Venus is, where your Mercury is, all this stuff is very different. So when you read a horoscope, it's just based on your sun sign. And um, it may seem like a one size fits all kind of a thing. Astrology is much more complex than that. And that's just kind of like the gateway, um, the gateway drug, the entryway into astrology. And um, anyway, so I can't remember what I was going to say besides that, but uh it is unique to every individual and um, it can also show us where, you know, our community is and where our points of connection are with other people and with life and with nature and beyond. So I will leave you with that. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you at a reading or a workshop in the future once we get past COVID stuff. Bye.